So after five months of developer previews, it's finally time for Android 7.0 Nougat to become officially official. And as with any new Android version, there are a ton of new features to get stuck into. So we picked the top five Android 7.0 Nougat features that you need to know about. So first of all, some pretty big changes to the way Android handles multitasking. Uh, you can now hop into an app, hold down the recent apps key and launch into a split screen view. And this of course is huge on tablets, but it's also a pretty big deal on phones, larger phones in particular, like the Nexus 6P. So you get your familiar task switching view down below, tap an app to launch straight into it and you can adjust the uh, partition between the two up there. Also super easy, tap the home button to jump back to your home screen and uh, you can just launch into any secondary app down below. And uh, super easy to do that and also incredibly simple just to grab this divider and swipe down when you're done. Next, we have a pretty big revamp of Android's notification shade. So the quick settings have uh, been completely retooled. They're now editable. You can uh, jump in here, drag them around and rearrange them. And the notification area itself has been uh, switched up. Uh, the biggest visual change, I think, since, since Lollipop in this area. And uh, you now have bundled notifications and apps that support them. So Hangouts right here, we've got a couple of messages. And thanks to inline replies, we can even reply to this without jumping into the app. And battery life, of course, is a huge thing in any smartphone. And uh, Android 7.0 brings new features for improving battery life when you're on the go. Uh, of course, Marshmallow brought the Doze feature, which uh, made tablets in particular use a lot less battery life when they're just lying around, when they're not being used. But now we have uh, Doze on the go, which helps apps use less power even when you're actually out and about, when the phone's in your pocket, when they're actually running. So that's uh, potentially a huge change that affects the entire Android ecosystem. So from saving powers, we go to saving data, which is also hugely important. And with the new data saver feature in Android 7.0, you can cut back on background data and just choose a selection of preferred apps to have unrestricted data access when data saver mode is on. And uh, like a lot of features, there's also a quick setting for it right up here. And last but by no means least, we have a bunch of new emoji in Android 7.0. So new additions like the uh, unicorn here, bunch of new animals, a lot of cool stuff, and uh, a lot more diversity, which is great to see. And the Android emoji in general are a lot less blob looking now. So uh, they're still kind of blobs, but they're better looking blobs. They're not, uh, not as freaky as the old blobs. So a lot of great changes here, a lot of new diversity, and uh, just bringing more options to uh, communicating with pictures, which is always great to see. So those are the basics of Android 7.0 Nougat, but for even more coverage of all the new features and all the new improvements, be sure to check out all of our coverage on androidcentral.com.